Hey guys. Um, holy crap, there's a deer. I'm gonna be right back. I don't know if you guys can tell. One, two, three. There's a fourth one right there. And then there's actually another right back here. So there's five of these guys. And this is right next door to my campsite. It's gonna be a really interesting time out here. All right, sorry about that. Let's turn that off. All right, sorry about that. Um, I, uh, the way I'm looking here is at another campsite and there was uh, like five deer over there. So I had to go ahead and pull this camera and go ahead and take a look at them and take some pictures. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm out camping this weekend. Um, it's been a little while before I made a video. It's just, it's been way too hot and I forgot to take a video at the last camping trip. Um, but you can check out my blog right there. And if you want to take a look at it and see what what I've been up to um, this weekend, sorry, I have gnats everywhere. Uh, this weekend we're spending, or I'm spending my time in this place, Paternal Falls. I think it's that's I think that's how you say it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. There's a river that goes through. It's supposed to be really cool, so I'll check that out tomorrow. Um, I am hammock camping, as you can see right there. You know, hammock blue thing hanging from the trees uh it's just me i don't even have one of the animals with me this time so so far it's pretty cool um everything's wooded so the goal is just to uh well just kind of hang out and chill out and just enjoy myself and uh thanks for coming along all right so as you guys know usually i cook steak chicken something like that um but this time around it was actually supposed to be a primitive hike or a primitive camping so in this park here that means about two miles of hiking and then uh, camping once i got to the park i decided differently so they had some free sites so i went ahead and i got one so meals this time around are actually based around backpacking so i got this peak fuel chicken pesto pasta Never had it before. Hope it's good. And I also have the uh, chicken and dumplings by Mountain House. I also never had before. I've had their brand years ago, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, for snacks, I have Snickers. I have Nutrigrain bars. I also have Rice Krispie treats just for carbs. And then my breakfast is oats with raisins, brown sugar. And my personal favorite is I also throw in milk powder just to make it extra creamy for me in the morning. That's my food for the week, or for the next two days. Okay, so I've shown you guys my fire pack before. It's just a simple pouch with uh, different things in it for fires. I do have my fireproof matches, which is pretty much go-to at this point, because I mean they're gonna work every time, or they should. But if I run out, or they break, or something happens, I have other options. I got my char cloth box right here. I have two more containers. I have my homemade fire starters. And I also have another box with homemade uh, fire starters as well as um, U twine. It's the U twine today I actually want to show you guys. This is really cool. So for the U-twine, you should probably could use the flint and steel and char cloth as well. I'm going to go ahead and use my fire steel. I've been practicing this at home, so hopefully this will work out here. <laughs> Take away these strands. You'll need all of these, so don't throw them away. Take apart a couple of these. And they break down 
very far. And you can see they break down into these like super dense dry fibers, right? Or not dense, I'm sorry, uh, fine fibers. Make yourself like a bird's nest like you would normally do with like the inner bark. Just keep pulling them apart. You don't need a tongue, you just need enough to kind of take a spark. Honestly, this doesn't even have to be all that precise. Get it to where you have a nice little ball, kind of like that. Take the rest of these. You can actually go ahead and take them apart. Now you have your fine that will take the spark. You have the bigger ones to take the flame. And on top of that, you can actually lay up even these thick ones as well just to make yourself a bigger and bigger bundle the important thing here is that you just make sure you leave yourself space for the ute to actually take the the uh, the spark right here in the middle. Okay. Now keep in mind, I'm still learning, so this isn't this is by far not perfect, but that's kind of why I like it because it doesn't have to be. I have some sticks and stuff ready right here. I'll put those two to the side. Now normally when you use these, you want to pull the fire thing out. But with this particular one here, it's actually a lot easier for me just to snap it in there. There we go. Catches fire really easy. You can start laying on your, your sticks. I'm gonna let that go ahead and catch fire. And I got a couple of thicker pieces I'm ready for. Okay, so the small stuff's caught fire. Go ahead and lay on, oops. Lay this stuff on there, whoa. take a knife and break that apart but I think at this point it will catch fire pretty easy
All right, hey guys. Um, okay, so on my way home, um, I just packed up the campsite. I'm actually still parked. Just quick goodbye. Um, it was a good trip, you know? Um, I truly think that we all need this um, once a month, once every two months or so. We just need to be able to get out, disconnect. And I'm okay with even watching movies while you're at your campsite, but disconnect from the world, disconnect from the emails, disconnect from everything from work. And it's just a good little reset, puts you back in nature. Um, or if you prefer hotels or whatever else, just get away from home. That's all. Um, anyways, I'm packed up. I'm out of here. And I will see you guys next time.